eventually. I'm back from LA. Today is just going to be a vlog. All I want to do is stay home and be by myself. I swear, I think I'm actually an introvert. Someone explain this to me because I actually do get energy from being around people, but only the right people. And I'm very outgoing. I know that being outgoing and being extroverted are not always linked, but like I love my alone time. Am I truly just an ambivert? I don't know, you guys tell me. So I've been back for a few days and honestly, I've just been like really kind of tired and sluggish. I know I say I'm tired and everything. I'm getting my labs done and everything next week. So hopefully pretty soon that will be over with. Actually, you know what? I'm giving you guys some tips on how to get your life back together. Um, whether that's like post-traveling or just like feeling like you're in a funk. I just felt like a little bit off the past few days. I booked a workout class in the morning because it made me get out of my house. I work from home. I'm sure probably. You know what? I'm actually really curious. Where do you guys work? I feel like I actually know a lot about your lives because I like ask a lot of things and like maybe that's like too much But like you don't tell me where you work, but I would <laughs> I'm like really becoming a creep. Like what kind of jobs are you guys into? Anyways, I say all that to say I want to know who is still working from home and if you guys want to go back into office or whatever I work from home and I work for myself all day. So it's very isolating. So I booked a nice little workout class this morning I went to soul cycle in uptown. I walked over and got some coffee. That's what I'm drinking right now I just found a random like healthy tiktok recipe. You're supposed to put um What's the stuff cream? Sweet cream, that's it. Um, but I didn't want that on there. So I didn't do it I have therapy today. I have work to do. I'm gonna make um, some like meal prep stuff that I like having on hand. I just showered, I feel clean, I feel good. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Oh, a new episode went out this morning with Alicia and Ashley. It's really good. It's a video too, so we have two YouTube channels. We have one for clips if you guys just wanna see clips. We have another one that's full episode. I will have them both linked down below. Go subscribe and I will love you forever. Comment on a video there, tell myself or really Carly that I sent you and I will love you forever. All right, today's exciting. Because we have a Princess Polly haul. I show you guys Princess Polly clothes all the time because it's honestly like the number one place I shop. I just did two of my own big orders that have been in recent vlogs. That was not sponsored. This is sponsored. But I love Princess Polly. Like, I am so excited about these clothes. Just wait. Guys, I'm so professional now that I have this closet. So, like, I set this clothing rack up um, a year ago and I just, I don't think I quite did it correctly. You know, it's not, it's not my strength. First off, look at all the color. Who is she? I know guys, trust me, I know it's really crazy. We're gonna start off with this blazer because I am obsessed with this blazer. I love a good oversized blazer. They're so good for every outfit at my girls dinners. Um, we always like throw them on over. They're really good for summer, especially, especially when it's hot in Texas because they're lighter and you can just throw them on, it's not like a leather jacket. It's gonna be cold at the restaurant or like, I don't know, you want like a little more coverage. This is the most beautiful blue blazer. I wore it yesterday with two different looks and then last night, like a boy complimented my blazer. Like that's how you know. It is the most fun pop of color. Like honestly, if you're gonna get anything from this haul, I would say get the blazer. That is how into this blazer I am. Um, it is the cutest thing ever. I'll have everything linked down below as well, guys. Okay, the next thing I got, you're not gonna be able to tell what this is until I put it on. But I just thought it was really cute, especially if you wear it with like some um, high-waisted, like maybe, what are the pants that I'm looking for called? Like, uh, hold on, like these kind of pants, like a nicer pant, you know what I'm saying? I swear to God, when I'm when the camera turns on or I'm recording, I get dumber. Like I swear, to God, I lose brain cells. I can't remember any sort of word. But I really like this. I thought it was very chic, you know. Next thing I have, I'm not even gonna try to show this to you until it's on. One of those wrap tops. I have a lot of them. They're really, really good, honestly, in the summertime. I know, like, you don't really sweat like how you normally would with, like, tight tops. Or at least the sweat doesn't really become a problem because you can, like, situate it correctly. If somewhere where it's hot, you need these wrap tops. It's the biggest life hack for, like, not sweating through your top. I'm not kidding. The next thing I have is this really cute, like, blue little mini skirt. I've been into skirts recently. I'm feeling like Molly Bailey. I swear to God, this rack is about to fall, guys. I got this bodysuit, which I like. Again, I like the cutouts because you're not going to sweat through your top. So that's why I love these. Um, I just thought this was really cute, a really good basic to have. Okay, you guys can tell, like, my two favorite colors right now are pink and blue. I got this pink little tie-up crop top. Again, just so good to have for, like, everyday wear. I felt like I was kind of running out of tops, honestly. 
I got this top, which is very shiny and sparkly for me. This is probably gonna go up after the 4th of July, but like I wouldn't be surprised if I like somehow wore this because it's cool. It's like shimmery, I don't know. Even into like, like this is cute for the summer, but it's also cute for like a New Year's thing later on if you're not trying to be like too much. I'm always looking for pieces that can stand the test of time, you know? Um, okay, I have this nice little black crop top. You can never go wrong with a good black crop top. You guys will see it better on the try on. Literally, who am I? I wear nothing but color. If I'm not decked out in like a pink juicy bag and pink little kitten heels, like I'm not myself. Like I don't know what happened, but something happened. I have this cute little top. I thought that was fun. I mean like, oh, guys, I'm gonna have to go do more things because where am I gonna wear all my cute outfits to? So I got this crop top, which I thought was so fun. Love that. Um, oh, this top, which I meant to get um, on a recent haul, I thought I was getting it, and then I think I accidentally, like, ordered the wrong thing, but I wanted this to wear with, like, my green skirt that I have, but I just thought this top was so fun. Again, I'm telling you, the cutouts, like, right here, those are a game changer, I'm telling you. Okay. Now, this dress is really something. It is a beautiful pink maxi dress. I mean... I love this. I don't know if it's because I'm blonde now, so I just like love pink or what, but I just think this is like one of the most beautiful dresses ever. Oh, this is a pink set. So cute. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to wear this to yet, um, but it's very fun. Like I just love this look. So this is like a little green romper and it's backless, which I love. This is so fun, especially if you pair it with like black um, cowboy boots like, um, and it would look so cute. So I love that. Last but not least, I actually wore this yesterday already. Uh, you guys might have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me. If you don't, follow me. Um, yeah, it was just really cute. I actually paired it with the blue blazer. Really into blue these days, but very cute, very easy to wear. I'm always looking for dresses because it is just so hot. The theme of this video, it is so hot. Okay, all right, I have a code for you guys. If you guys wanna use Kenzie20, you can get a 20% off discount code. I, my friends in real life text me, quite often asking if I have a code. If you guys haven't shopped Princess Polly, like I really can't recommend them enough. I shop there. Outside of working with them, they are my number one go-to store. Like I love their stuff. Honestly, if I already showed you an entire closet tour right now, probably 70% of my wardrobe is Princess Polly. Also, they're the best denim, which we've talked about. They now offer afterpay to all US customers. They also have free express shipping, which is three to four days from within the US. And that's for orders over $50, which is really crazy. Honestly, their shipping is so quick. They also offer afterpay to all US customers. I will have everything linked below. Again, code Kenzie 20 Love it. All right, we're gonna have to unfortunately get on with the day now and I just like don't feel like doing that, you know? Sadly, I have to leave my closet now and get to work. So I'm going downstairs. I'm currently listening to Sophia Bush's podcast with Chelsea Handler. Love, it's part two. Um, if you guys ever wanna know my favorite like podcasts and stuff, I'm always sharing them on my Instagram story and I've made like TikToks and stuff about it. Anyways, I'm going to get to work and get going with the day. For lunch today and then also for meal prep, I'm just making this little kind of like chicken salad. I have an Instagram reel of this already up. It's so good. It is the easiest thing ever to make. I'm gonna boil some chicken and then shred it. Um, I have some tortellini, some little fresh mozzarella balls, tomatoes, and then pesto. It's really, really quick and it's honestly better the more time it's in the fridge, the better it is. It's like one of those things. All right, did some work. Just got off FaceTime therapy. Now I'm going to finish this food. My house feels very cozy right now. Just got off FaceTime therapy. I'm going to finish this meal over here and then we've got some work to do. So I have my tortellini here. Um, I'm going to shred this chicken and then you know throw everything in here. It's very simple, but it's so good. Be prepared to die. I just like do not feel like myself. We're gonna have to talk about that soon. Maybe if my hair is down. Okay, so last summer I was wearing those tanks all the time that had my name like bedazzled on them from Junk Shop Junk Gold. They just started like a personal shopping, thrifting kind of thing. I just got this in the mail from them. First off, so much stuff. Every piece that she shopped for me on a Polaroid, I mean, 
Wow. If you guys want to shop, you guys can use code Kenzie at checkout and you get a free tote bag when you purchase a capsule wardrobe bundle. So this is the capsule wardrobe bundle. Um, and look at this. Kenzie's capsule wardrobe. I mean, look. So fabulous. Thank you so much. I'll show you guys what I got. I'm dying at these boots already. Okay, these boots are like so fabulous. They're bringing me very much the like Devin Carlson vibe. I mean, guys, there's so much in here. It's like quite literally a capsule wardrobe. Okay, so this is a skirt, which honestly, this is perfect for over your swimsuit on like the 4th of July. <gasps> oh, I love these. Ooh. Okay, so this is like a nice little blouse. You know what? This is what I'll wear. I keep saying this is what I'm gonna wear on the 4th of July as if I go for like four days. So fun. I love a good blazer. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This is just perfect. This is so pretty. It's, here's the, oh wait, here we go. Oh my God, a good t-shirt. <gasps> no way. It's Texas. Everything is better in Texas. She said, I included this t-shirt as an extra item because it was just too perfect for you. <laughs> it says, everything is better in Texas. That's true. It's a really great quality. I feel weird like when I show things that are thrifted because you can't like buy them, you know? Oh, a beautiful black tank. Oh, uh, this is a dress too. That's really cute. Well, thank you guys so much. I will have a link below. They essentially get like your style guide, your clothes that you like, and go thrifting for you and literally shop for you and give you a capsule wardrobe. It's actually like such a genius idea. All right, guys, it is the afternoon. I just made myself some tea. Honestly, I'm feeling quite a bit anxious. Um, that happens sometimes when I am by myself working at home for hours, don't really see anyone. That's why I like going out and working out. Um, sometimes I feel really good doing that and then sometimes I just get really like anxious. But something else I wanted to talk about recently is that I have just like not, I don't know, I've not been like feeling like I look like myself. Like I feel like myself like mentally. Honestly, it's such a mental thing because, well like physical to mental. I feel like I'm typically like pretty just structured with working out and feeling like good and whatever. Something about myself is if I am making sure I'm like getting movement in and taking care of myself, then I feel totally fine. And I'm really not, I'm really not hard on myself as far as like appearance and stuff, but I think like my skin's been acting up. I haven't been eating as well as I normally do. I've still been like active, but not as much as I would really like to be. And so I think, so like obviously I don't feel like I actually look different. I think it's like a mind game. But I just feel my best when I am eating really healthy foods and I'm getting active. It's like, again, such a mental thing. I've just been feeling like almost like insecure and just not like I'm myself right now or I don't really feel like myself. So that's why on top of like getting back into town, I want to get back into like a routine because I know the second that I'm going and working out like five days a week, which is like what I like to do. Again, it helps like with anxiety as well for me. So I like working out like five days a week. That's kind of like my normal routine or schedule. And, and I honestly prefer to go to the same place every single day, but I haven't found a place here that I love enough to go every single day. That helps me get into a routine. I don't know, I'm just like trying to start other like new things and endeavors in my life. So I feel like there's a lot of just kind of like, oh, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. But I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like that's such a normal thing to feel and just feeling like not as confident or a little bit insecure. And I notice that I feel that way whenever I'm not taking care of myself. And then it's like a weird mental switch for me because I don't look any different once I start doing that. Like obviously immediately, it's really not about appearance, but I feel so good. And right now I just don't really feel my best. So I wanna get that under control. Not that it's crazy, but that's why I'm like making sure I'm going and working out and like eating healthier meals and things like that. Also just like getting out of my house. I really honestly, it just can be so isolating. I do wanna hire someone. I've been posting about that on Instagram and I've been getting like applicants and stuff. I want to hire essentially like a Gen Z genius. But anyways, I just feel kind of weird. It's 4 p.m. I still need to edit a vlog. And honestly, all I want to do is like go upstairs and like read. Honestly, this is like such a like superficial thing, but I might self tan. Actually, I, I should because it's going to be the weekend. Self tan just like makes me feel more confident. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel really like bleh. But that is normal. I think I also like start my cycle tomorrow. So that would completely explain it. I'm just gonna breathe in and out, clean my space up a little bit and get back to work. It's later. I actually 
finished editing all the vlogs, pre-uploaded them. Honestly, my, just being really real with you guys, my anxiety is so bad right now and Fitz is not helping. I am gonna go take a nice long bath and relax. I keep thinking about going on a walk because that helps me sometimes, but it's honestly like really hot and I feel like that will just make me feel worse. But normally I wouldn't vlog like moments like this. I will show you guys or tell you guys what I do to make myself feel better when I'm feeling very anxious and just out of it and not myself and kind of like insecure and whatever. First thing I'm gonna do, take a long nice bath. I'm also gonna self tan. Um, that does, I don't do this every single time, but I needed to self tan today anyway. Podcast that's very comforting to me is actually the Redheads. Shout out Margo and Jackie. Even if I didn't read the book, like I will listen to the podcast, guys. I look intense to say the least. I just self tanned and I got this all over my Revolve set. <laughs> I love being me. Look, I cannot believe I put myself on the internet like this. Sometimes I even go on public. That's how much I don't care. But I have been using the Ashley Graham St. Tropez self tanner and I have to say that stuff is a game changer. Anyways, I have decided I'm gonna go downstairs, make myself some dinner. I actually don't know what I'm gonna make. Um, and I'm gonna put hacks on. It's on HBO and it's a show I've actually been watching. The episodes are really short so I get through it quickly. I'm gonna start a new book tonight. My house is actually getting it deep clean tomorrow which is like a treat that I gave myself. We're heading downstairs. Also, I want to get new bedding. Comment below what I should get. All right, something else I just did. I realize there's a lot. This might sound stupid. Okay, this might sound dumb, but I feel like we're all human. I just have a lot of adult things that are like really stressing me out right now. I feel like everything falls apart at once. Like I have to replace my AC, which is expensive. Also just a hassle. I need to just do a lot of other like really boring adult things, but all of them take a lot of time. Anyways, they take a lot of time. It's just, you know, obviously part of living, unfortunately. I just wrote out everything I need to do here. I might call my dad and cry later um, and get his advice. I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm gonna figure out what I wanna make for dinner. And then I might even do some research on my laptop just for like a little meeting I have in the morning. Okay, just heated up some dinner and I'm also gonna drink a recess. Baby, baby. This is proof of how much I love Princess Polly. Got another package from them just now. So this is just a bonus, truly. Um, I think I might have used literally my own discount code. If I actually, no I didn't, because I used before, but I should have. I got this dress as an option for a wedding that I'm going to next weekend in LA. I'll have to try it on. It's similar to my orange top, but I think it's cute. I like this, so it's 8 p.m. And I'm gonna have some nighttime tea. So this is my little reading stack for the night. I have 101 essays that will change the way you think. My journal, a little Devo, my Kindle. I'm going to maybe watch one or two more episodes of Hacks. Really mainly just read for the rest of the night. And that is it for a very realistic day in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Pray for me with my expensive pajama set that I ruined with my self tanner. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to check out my links for Princess Polly and my discount code. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. How do you feel having like another job title added? I'm not going to lie. I was very, very excited to put co-founder <laughs> yeah, yes. of Parallel we were Apparel. Like, do we change it at the same time? <laughs> In my Instagram bio. But I also will say this is so not just a fun, oh my gosh, I'm the CEO of this. I'm the co-founder. Like there's so much work that goes into it. So it definitely feels so well-deserved.